remembered about it was this is a bee. Now today I'm going to do a follow up on the video yesterday where I was talking about the polls, the Dan Anderson poll that was showing the confidence levels the Jamaican people have in the Minister of National Security and the Police Commissioner. But this time it's about the JCF and the JDF. The JDF one in particular is very interesting to me. I can tell you why. Now, no for things I'm going to you now, I say it already. But I don't know how this works. I'm just a little YouTuber. I don't have a big title. I'm not the head of anything. So, when somebody who is actually an expert come out and say it, then you know say it have more weight. So now we have an expert who makes some statements regarding the JDF and why the image and the reputation of the JDF is getting hurt. And we're going to also look on the numbers they must say in terms of the confidence levels. Very interesting stuff. Now according to the Gleaner, experts are say the JDF reputation is getting hurt because of quote unquote over exposure. Until now I already say we have a checkpoint checkpoint and using the JDF like a bunch of UN peacekeepers is eventually going to hurt the relationship between the public and the JDF. And now we're starting to see that reflected in the polls. Let me tell you what, I go on this. You see, in 2021, there was a LA pop study that is Latin American Public Opinion Project. So now we're going to hear two different set of numbers. One of them is trust levels, and the next one is public confidence. Right. So the first one, trust levels. In 2019, the JDF had a trust level of 63.2% according to LA Palm. In 2021, that fell to 61%. However, the JDF right, remained the most trustworthy of all institutions. It had the highest level of trust among the institutions that were studied at the time. In other words, compared to the various branches and you know, police and everything there, JDF had the most trust from the public. However, it's declining. Now we have a next set of polls. This poll asks the people how much confidence they have in a JDF and JCF as it relates to fighting crime. Separate from the trust. This one is looking at confidence to fight crime and this one is done by Dan Anderson, right, commissioned by the Gleaner. The JCF at a total of 94% of Jamaicans who have little or no confidence in the JCF. Meanwhile, the JDF got 75%. When you break it down for the JCF, 47% have no confidence at all, while 47% have little confidence, 6% have a lot. You see, times are rough when time you have to look on the bright side and I count 6% or something. The JDF, 26% of Jamaicans have no confidence in the JDF according to the polls. So 47% no confidence in JCF, 26% no confidence in the JDF by crime, that's quarter. 49% have little confidence in the JDF and 25% have a lot. So 6% of Jamaicans have a lot of confidence in the JCF and 25% have a lot of confidence in the JDF. Now what does this mean for Jamaica and its quote unquote fight against crime and violence? Well, you don't need to be a master of quantum physics to know say this does not look good. Now how important is confidence? I would go as far as to say confidence make or break an organization or a leader. When people elect somebody to lead a country, do you know what they're actually saying? They're saying we have the most confidence that you will be the one to deliver the results. When a coach pick Messi to play, you know what he's saying? He have more confidence in a Messi than the next baller put up on the bench. When somebody is drowning and you run to the lifeguard to help them, it's because you have confidence 
that the lifeguard is a big swimmer and have the ability to go out there to save the person's life. A confidence run the world. So when the public have no confidence in the institutions, in the people who are tasked to fix major issues, of course it's a concern. You see, enough of the problems that Jamaica get itself in you know, as a nation could have been averted if people with big title did just humble themselves. Because you know, say, it's the land of wood water and big title. So, if somebody is clearly steering the country or steering a particular organization down the wrong path, and you say, hold on, this is not going to end well enough. Because this is going to cause this and it's going to cause that. You see, the fact that the JDF is getting such a big damage to its reputation is no surprise. This was predicted. But you know it got ready. Then one tell us a 2 plus 2 equal 5 and then you put up your hand and say, hold on, hold on. That's not correct. Then them ask you, oh, so are you the head of mathematics at the University of Winnipeg? Then you say, no, I'm not. Then them say, oh, what do you do? They say, well, I'm a higgler. I sell shoes downtown. Right. And them say, oh, you sell shoes downtown. In other words, you're not a mathematician. So who are you to come tell we, with big title, so 2 plus 2 don't equal 5? You see, apparently, logic is irrelevant. Common sense is irrelevant. Reason is irrelevant. People are saying, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. Your favorite leaders are experts at that. Think of Jamaica as a sports car. Your favorite leaders want to be left alone so they can drive the car much up as them, please. And one time you ask them, Yo, what now do? You said it's a mash up. Right. Them get defensive. And even to your point out the basics, like, Yo, you know, said the engine light come on. The car won't oil. Right. The radiator, be a steamer come out of the radiator. Them want to just left them alone. Come on, people, face the reality. We know say this is the land of wood, water and deflection, but sooner or later we have to face reality. If you are put in a position to do a certain job and you don't achieve it, you don't achieve your targets, then people have all right to say you don't go out with nothing and they have no confidence in you. See, this is what happens when people care more about PR and branding than actually delivering tangible results and it's very unfortunate that the police officers who are serious about their work end up get caught up in this because the actions of enough of them squaddy reflect poorly on them this is just the reality of life when you're in an organization everybody win together or lose together the police them who are serious about them job police them who actually care about Jamaica, the police them who no favorite than them can use like puppets, get caught up in this stuff and then get the same treatment like the man them who are in collusion with criminals. Now here's the thing, the same way an organization can have a gradual decrease in their reputation is the same way they can have a gradual increase in their reputation. JCF might have low confidence now, but that can change. But before any change make, you know what you need? To accept something is wrong. There will be no improvement until people accept the feelings. Just like how somebody with an alcohol problem or a diet code problem must first accept they have a problem. And not no partial, I mean, yeah sure I need to cut back a little and a drinking. No, it's not a cut back. You have a problem. So I'm glad these polls are out because at least you can put things into perspective. No, we see, say, the Jamaican public don't have no confidence in institutions that are supposed to protect Jamaica. This is not the end of the road. Them can turn it around. The Minister of National Security can turn it around. Police Commissioner can turn it around. JCF, JDF can turn it around. It will not be from increasing the PR. Because PR is just making people think what you want them to think. PR is not real life. 
Results speak louder than PR. Focus on the results. Focus on the outcomes. That will go much further than any big speech, than any fancy graph, than any explanation, than any, you know, just understand, say, and a because, a because, a because, what, what, what. Results louder than all of that. Deliver the results. And it will turn around. So, I'm going to leave this one right just up now. Anyway, PHN squad, big up on the cell. PIA, you don't know, more like Ultra Squad, stay circling. Peace.